With the launch of Jetpack and the KTX libraries, we've made Android development even sweeter in Kotlin. But our apps rely on more than just the Android libraries. As app writers and library maintainers, there's a lot you can do to be Kotlin friendly. First, you should update your existing code to follow the interop guide. Then you can start building Kotlin specific APIs. This video will cover the interop guide, which covers best practices for writing code in the Java programming language to support Kotlin. It has four main interop suggestions. First, Kotlin is all about null safety. To support this in the Java programming language, add the annotations nullable and non-null everywhere in your public API. Kotlin will use these to make your API null safe. Now, what happens if you don't? Well, Kotlin makes what's called a platform type. It's a Heisen type that can be null or non-null, and it leads to Heisen bugs and null pointer exceptions. When you do use annotations, Kotlin will make your APIs null safe, fixing the null pointer exceptions. Getters and setters are important for interop. Kotlin requires they follow the bean style. Get name, set name, is active, set active. When you do this, Kotlin will elevate them to properties so they can be used naturally. Next, Kotlin adds support for lambdas, and you can interop with them by using single abstract methods. Examples of single abstract methods are runnable and callable. When defining your API, make sure to put your single abstract method parameters last, then Kotlin developers can make full use of lambdas. And finally, Kotlin has some different keywords, and it's important to avoid name conflicts. If you do provide a function called is, developers can still call it by saying backtick is backtick, but let's be honest, that is not a good look. For a full list of keywords, check out the interop guide. To help support interop, we've added tooling to Android Studio 3.2, introducing lint checks that will warn you for all interop issues. To use them, enable the interoperability group in Gradle. Another tool for Kotlin is DACA. If you're generating documentation with the Javadoc tool, you can migrate to using DACA. DACA will generate your documentation, and it supports both languages. There's a lot you can do to make sure your existing code is Kotlin friendly. In this video, I covered how to follow the interop guide, and we'll cover how to make Kotlin specific APIs in a later video. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.